All right, Dan, I just want to show you where we're at on the frame. I got that welded and dressing them. Uh, welded in all our holes here. Put some bolt heads in there, just to back those and welded those. Wire feed. Looks like I got one more to do in this side, way down there in the end. A couple little holes here. I'm not so sure if I'm gonna fill. I know I'm not gonna go to filling in any of these um, places to hook a chain or whatever. Any that's flat like that, I might go ahead and do. Be careful. Don't fill in any necessary bolt holes. That weird hole must have been some kind of some kind of hanger on the assembly line or something. But yeah, this one here I've ground at it. Basically, I just weld it and keep welding until I get all the stuff filled in pretty good and grind it on down and keep hitting it. Got it and rewelded some of these seams. I'm gonna try to go over all of them before it's all said and done. And this one here is about just about ready for a little mud. I might put a straight edge up on there and run one more bead all the way down. I don't know. It'd be kind of fancy, I guess. I'm trying to make it look like one piece. Let's see here. I missed a spot there, you know. Getting getting nutty with it. Basically, uh after I pulled it out from under there, just used a whole bunch of jack stands, just kept shifting it to the side and uh had the rear end chained up. I didn't take it all the way out, just I took the springs out and just had it so it would go as low as possible and had to still had the tires on the front and maneuvered it right on out from under there. Went too bad, just had a whole lot of jack stands. That's pretty much where we're at now. Uh, I'm about to take the front suspension off. Um I should have done it already. I just kind of dragging ass on this project, get into it, just keep going. Hot rod tendency is to push it to the extremes. Yeah, trying to figure out about my transmission mount. Looking at this one, putting this four speed in, it's just a little bit different, but I'll probably end up trying to maybe fabricate something custom. And they've got a, a G-Force cross member. It's like almost $300. It's not going to fit this frame. <laughs> I probably had to build my own. Anyway, y'all take care out there.